T minus two minutes and counting. We are a go for launch at this time. This is the launch of the Tarvos antimatter production ship aboard the Saturn C3X rocket. And we have views of the interior. After the embarrassing failure of the antimatter production facilities on Titan Station, DDB checked their warranty on the parts sold by Zephyrm Kerman. And they also noted that his instructions did not specify that the research lab had to be directly attached to the antimatter containment unit. After some wrangling, Zephyrm Kerman offered to provide a replacement in the form of an antimatter production ship. And this is that ship that we we're about to launch. Um, the condition, however, was that he be allowed to design the ship so that uh, it would be sure to function properly as we approach T minus one minute. As it turns out, he already had the ship uh, we're about to launch ready. Everything is still a go here. Calden and Ludman Kerman are on the Tarvos and will be the scientists producing the antimatter. They aren't pilots, and uh, of course, the launch will still be. Uh, controlled by automated systems and from mission control so uh, no problems there they are trained however for emergencies we are approaching T minus 30 seconds T minus 30 seconds now T minus 20 T minus 15 T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. We have liftoff of the Saturn C3X bearing the Tarvos antimatter production ship. The rocket has cleared the tower. And we wish uh, Calden Kerman and Lemon Kerman well on their trip up to orbit. T plus 30 seconds, altitude 1,320 meters, 94 meters per second. Forty five seconds in, three thousand one hundred and seventy meters, one hundred and sixty one meters per second. T plus one minute, five thousand eight hundred meters, two hundred and sixty five meters per second. The rocket is now supersonic. T plus one minute thirty seconds, sixteen thousand five hundred meters, five hundred and forty meters per second, five point six kilometers downrange. I should explain the internal views. Uh, Calden and Ludman are in separate pods on opposite sides of the ship. These are actually escape pods, uh, should they need to jettison. Rocket is now above 29 kilometers, 872 meters per second, 15 kilometers downrange. As with the previous launch, the reactors aboard the Tarvos are currently off and will have to be activated via EVA. We are waiting now for the first stage out. Five more seconds. The engines of the first stage are out. First stage separation. Second stage is lit. Rocket is now 65 kilometers in altitude, 1500 meters per second in speed, 57 kilometers downrange. The camera picked up a collision on the first stage. Uh, no problems for the rocket, of course. Awaiting fairing separation now. 
as we see the internal view and the vessel view there. Fairing separation. And the fairings have been separated successfully. No problems with the payload. The Tarvos continues to be on a nominal trajectory. So, a little bit of background about our two Kerbal scientists here. Calden Kerman has worked on the hazardous waste disposal team in the EDB, and he has an extensive background in chemistry and subatomic physics. Uh, well noted for his uh, bravery in terms of handling chemical materials. Uh, Ludman, however, uh, has been working in labs uh, pretty much all his life, and uh, on the being invited for an engine test actually ran away screaming from it. Uh, so uh, not noted for his courageousness. And, uh, though it seems like uh, he's settled down enough to be able to withstand this particular ride. The escape pods are actually mounted on two side mounted thermal rockets which each have their own mini nuclear reactor attached to them. It has been noted by the EDB that these are uh, basically useless. Uh, the thrust they produce is uh, minuscule. The total delta V is about 585 meters per second. They're fed with liquid hydrogen. And the total burn time for them is 5 hours and 37 minutes. In other words, it takes about a minute to produce 1 meter per second of delta V. So if they're going to be using these rockets for anything, it had better be very fine adjustments. But uh, Zephyr and Kerman insisted on putting them on, and since the deal was that he could design the, the ship as he preferred, uh, that was the deal. And of course he is paying for it, so uh, he got the ship that he wanted. The ship is being launched into a trajectory that would allow it to rendezvous with Titan Station as we uh, now have the rocket at 184 kilometers in altitude, 307, uh, 3,700, 3,800 meters per second now, and 472 kilometers downrange, rapidly accelerating in the second stage. Uh, so it is uh, in an inclination that can allow it to rendezvous with Titan Station, should that be necessary and it is uh, possible that they may wish to do so to transfer either crew or antimatter for future missions. Of course, uh, to bring the orbit down, it will take an uh, enormous amount of time to use that liquid hydrogen passing through the nuclear reactors and out the thermal nozzles. It does have uh, RCS fuel though, and uh, quite a lot of that, so perhaps that will help. second stage continues to be nominal as we approach it burning out here. And that's second stage out. Waiting second stage separation. We have a little bit of a signal problem here. Second stage separation is good. Uh, continues to be... Okay, uh, third stage... Third stage is lit. Uh, there was intermittent signal failure during that through the Telemachus system, but it seems like we're alright now. That delay will produce a little bit of a change in the in the orbit, so we're somewhat off on our trajectory, but it should be should be recoverable. The Tarvos is actually being boosted to a high orbit, but it will do so by by pushing its apoapsis up on the way down. In other words, it will pass apoapsis and then boost its apoapsis up with the last phase of the main burn. Uh, it's it's a uh, not uncommon maneuver. And so what we will end up with is a very low periapsis and a high apoapsis, and then the third stage we relit to 
to boost the uh, periapsis up and circularize the orbit at about uh, 1,000 kilometers. And uh, further boosts can be... The third stage has multiple relights and has, has all its rockets in addition to the, to the facilities on the Tarbos payload. The rocket is now at 257 kilometers in altitude, 5,840 meters per second in velocity, and 1,540 uh, 1, kilometers downrange. Well over the Atlantic now. One of the reasons why they wanted to match the inclination of Titan Station for a potential rendezvous is for crew transfers from to and from this ship. Uh, also supply transfers. This ship has enough uh, food, water, and oxygen for the Kerbals for approximately 320 days. At that point, uh, both crew and supplies will have to be shifted. There are two docking ports on the Tarbos Antimatter Production Ship, a 2 meter one on the front and a 2.5 meter one on the back. Uh, it can dock directly to Titan Station or some sort of vehicle can transfer supplies and crew to and from it in its high orbit. And so uh, those are multiple plans for getting the Kerbals back. The escape pods are, are heat shielded and could theoretically be brought back, uh, could bring them back in an emergency. However, that's not the preferable way to go about things. Those uh, escape pods are, are not deemed 100% uh, safe. They're really emergency vehicles. and. And if possible, we would like to bring the Kerbals back in a proper descent pod. We have, uh, well, we can see the data thanks to the display. Watching from the in cockpit view here. As the rocket nears orbit, we have passed apoapsis and uh, the rocket is descending. The expectation is it'll complete its burn at around uh, 230 kilometers, and uh, at that point, it will have uh, a orbit with a periapsis just outside the atmosphere, and, and an apoapsis that is uh, on the higher end, around uh, 800 to 1,000 kilometers. We have the rocket now at 250 kilometers in altitude, 6,700 meters per second in speed and 2,440 kilometers downrange. We have about a minute and a half left in the burn and the third stage is looking quite good right now and no worries about it falling short at all because it has quite a bit of margin. The, the Tarbos Antimatter Production Ship uh, is not an uh, unduly heavy payload for this rocket. In fact, this, uh, this M-C3X has never actually lifted its full payload yet, and so we'll be looking forward to see what it can do with its full payload, but there was plenty of margin here, again mainly because uh, people were concerned that there should be an abort to orbit possibility at uh, a maximum amount of the stages through the, through the launch, and of course the only point at which there was no abort to orbit possibility was with the first stage. After that point, uh, into the second stage, once the fairings separated, uh, it was a more to orbit. But no concern about that now, as everything seems to be good. We are coming up on the end of the burn here soon. About 15 seconds left. And that's the third stage out. Uh, rocket is currently 7,485 meters per second in speed, 3,250 kilometers down range, around 230 kilometers in altitude. The apoapsis is currently at 755 kilometers, the periapsis 194 kilometers. 
the the craft will make another third stage burn at at apoapsis to lift its periapsis and possibly another burn at uh, at 755 uh, at uh, its uh, new periapsis then to lift its apoapsis. We have no specific uh, word on why this orbit was chosen at this time, uh, but uh, we we assume that there was a particular reason, perhaps safety reasons. Uh, but uh, we do know now that uh, Colin Kerman and Ludman Kerman are successfully in orbit, and they will proceed to make the further burns, and then they will activate their uh, nuclear reactors via EVA. We will bring that to you when it happens. And for now, uh, we have the Tarbos uh, antimatter production ship. We will find out whether it works better than the modules on Titan Station. We certainly hope it does. It came at an extreme cost. Uh, cost to, of course, uh, Zephram Kerman's warp supplies company at about $230 million. So uh, I'm sure his company and the EDB share an eagerness to see this work out. And so we will invite you to join us for that revelation. Until then, uh, thank you for watching, and this is the EDB signing off.